In 1991, Kim Sims made an impact on the British music scene with Too Blind to See It. Originally from Chicago, Kim became an overnight success. In 1992, Kim released two more singles from her album of that year, Take My Advice and A Little Bit More. Kim returned in 1994 with another single, I Must Be Free, and two years later, We Gotta Love. Like many artists, Kim took some time out but never gave up her passion for singing. And in 2017, she worked with writer and best friend Thomas Arambula and came up with her latest single, Turn It Up, which was later remixed by UK's house music producer, Scott Featherstone. Kim is currently in the UK promoting her single and I managed to get an exclusive interview with her and Scott. And here's how it went. Okay, Ed Mahu here and I'm here with Kim Sims. Hi Kim. Hey, how, how you doing? doing? And of course, Scott Featherston. Scott, my old friend. Hi um, Ed. <laughs> so Kim, you, when did you arrive in Leeds? Um, I arrived in Leeds on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I should have been here on Friday, but there was a plane thingy. But yeah, I got here on Saturday. Excellent. And how yeah. are you finding it so far? <sighs> I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't really. It's been so nice. The people are lovely. The weather I brought with me, and it's sunny. So yeah, it's been great. It really has. Excellent. You're looking well yourself. Thank I you. Say as well. Thank okay, you. Okay, now I know you performed over here recently when you came. Was it Saturday night you performed? Yes. Or, yeah? Yes. And how did that go down? It went great. It went great. Um, it was 200 capacity, yeah. and I think we got to like maybe 150. I actually did an encore, so I know it went fabulous. Yeah. But no, it was great. The people were receptive <laughs> yes. and. They remembered me and the newbies even joined in so yeah, it was yeah. it was good yeah i saw an online video of you performing mm -hmm. you sang and also doing some 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 live singing mm -hmm. the over the top of the mixing so yes. that was really good good to see the vibe was really, it was really great good. Oh, yes it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um so scott we're here and thanks for inviting kim over oh, yes. you know and it's, 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 <laughs> it was all down to me yes i mean it's the first time you both actually we've actually met in it person, is, yeah. it is. Yeah, well, it? we talk online, but yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. To, it's great to actually finally, <laughs> finally meet the legends. Right. Yeah. So, just tell me how you both met. How did you manage to collaborate together? Uh, well, I, I played some some music. I've been recording to my friend Steve, and he he sort of a promoter. He's put events on in the past with, with him. He, he said, I said, I, I know a singer who might might work with you. I thought he meant just somebody local. A couple of weeks later, he says, oh, he says, oh, I've had a word with with Kim. Um, she's, she's interested to maybe hear what you've done. I was like, okay, um, well, do you want to meet me in the middle of your summer? No, no, it's Kim, Kim Sims. I was like, Kim Sims? I was like, you got the singer, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right. So then I sent something over to Kim, and uh, obviously she got back to me, and um, one thing led to another, and yeah, we, we, did, uh, we did a little collaboration together. Yeah. And the track was called Turn It Up, correct? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I've heard the track, fantastic track. Mm. And I've already interviewed you, Scott, with regards to Kim and the track as yeah. well. But it's just actually nice to have you here, Kim. So, why Turn It Up? What made you write Did you write the song yourself? Or? No, I didn't write the song. My um, best friend, Thomas Arambula, mm -hmm. He, um, he's been bugging, well, I, I shouldn't say bugging me, but pushing and pushing me to get back out there. You that's, know? that's a good job he did. <laughs> right, right, right. And it, it, it was like, Kim, I wrote this song, and I had no clue he even knew how to write a song. You know, he yeah. just kind of held it off. I said, why'd you wait 20 years? Like, you know. Yeah. But anyway, um, he said, I want you to try it. And so I said, okay. He said, just put your own little spin on it. And... It was sort of an homage to me c coming of age, if yes. you will, and just turning it up. You know, even the, the way I dressed and just kind of taking it up a notch, being still being mature and seasoned, but, you know, kind of kicking them in the face at the same time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. letting them up. No, I still have it. You know what I mean? So that had a, a lot to do with it as well, but perfect song. I'm going to take you back just to pass a little bit. Sure. Too. And of course, we all know you for, of course, Two Blind to see. Yes. Now, can you just recap on the year when you when you when that was released? Can you remember what year it yeah, was? Yeah, I believe it was ninety one. Yes. Yeah, ninety one or ninety two. Yes. Yeah, right in that yeah. right in that era. Yeah. So when when you think of your singing then as to your singing now, how do you think you've transformed or you think you think you've improved? How do you think you changed with regards to your style of singing? Well, I'm not sped up. You know, the vocals aren't sped up and and I think that is 
I love the song and I, and I love the, you know, the production, but I used to always say, I sound like a chipmunk, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, and when you hear me sing live, you realize I can I can sing. Do you know what I yes, mean? Yes. And so I think that's what's changed. I think my voice, of course, is matured. Yes. It's um, but I think I've always had the, the mature quality in it. Now it's different with Turn It Up. I was able to kind of sing in my own range and yes. you know let everybody else handle all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I just sing it and then make it pretty around there. So fantastic. I yeah. know that when when Scott spoke to me, he said the vocal duo will be the fantastic vocal. Mm. You know. And as I True. said, and you, and you mentioned, didn't you, Scott, when you said um, the vocals, you weren't sure which ones to get rid of. Which, yeah, I mean, obviously, you, you. Set, you sent me an hour of ad libs and stuff, and I was like, I could, I could make a career just, ah. just, just making, making like house sort of dub tracks with these. It's unreal. Yeah. yeah. And the quality of your voice, and I was singing myself, the quality of your voice, fantastic. Thank you. You know, I mean, when I heard two bands say, I said, is this, is this the same person, Scott, singing? Yeah. You know, when, you, when yeah. I heard your yeah. vocals, I thought, exactly, you, know, yeah. you, could hear, you said the maturity, yes. but just the style and, and the key and the, you know, mm -hmm. the range mm -hmm. that you had to develop with it was yes. amazing. It was yeah. such an easy song to sing, yeah. and I felt it. You know, yeah. I want to turn it up. Yeah. I, before yeah. I get up out of here, I'm going to be turning it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it really, it was easy to sing. Yes, it right. was easy to sing. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get back on the track then. So you know you were talking about um, maybe that's why you're here um, a collaboration again. Of course. You know, and yeah. Scott, what do you have in mind? And what, has Kim heard the track? Or you yeah, well, I, I, obviously I'm always sort of putting tracks together. And I send Kim clips and stuff. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? So I sent this one, and then she was like, "Yeah." She goes, "I've got a couple of ideas." Uh, she sent me a couple of them. One was nice, but then another one was like really good. I was like, "Yeah, we could do something with this." So. Um, we, we, I mean, you were going to go to another studio, but um, one thing led to another. Obviously, yeah. Kim's over in the UK, mm -hmm. so uh, my good friend Des over in Rocket Fuel Audio, he's got a really nice uh, yeah, setup for vocals. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna head over there, and then we're gonna see what we can yes. see what we can come Fantastic. up with. I, th mm -hmm. I'm sure, I know Kim's got some some lyrics ready and stuff. Yes. So yeah. it's gonna be nice because yeah. you know we can we'll vibe off of each other yes. mm -hmm. you know it won't yes. be like texting and yeah. you know that kind of thing it'll be a, a vibe and of i think course. that's what's going to make it even you more have to physically both there and yes work yeah together. be oh, more yeah. magical oh, it's going to be great of course it will be mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the character so of course des is a bit of a character as yeah, well okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh okay good, you know, good, good, yeah, good. It's yeah it's gonna, it's gonna have you're gonna have a crazy time okay cool very talented musician as well okay oh it's fantastic nice When do you go back home, Kim? I'm set to go back on the 16th of July. Also, you appear for a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, oh, three weeks, amazing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Um, and I don't know, there may be a, uh, a gig in between. Mm -hmm. After the two that I'm going to do, there may be a gig in between. I'm talking to somebody now. But mm -hmm. otherwise, I'll head back on the 16th and then hopefully get back over uh, late August, yeah. early September. Yeah, we're going to try and get you on in Middlesbrough, I think. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. would be awesome. I think that will go down great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We yeah. know you've got some good fans there. So That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. So you've got two gigs coming up, you mentioned. Yes. So where are they going to be held? Okay, so uh, Friday is London, um, mm -hmm. the London Eagle. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, um, it's the Pride Parade. So I may just pop up and do something, do a little pop yes, up. And then um, the following week, the 14th, I'd be in Glasgow. And it's an all day rave yeah, um, so sisters yeah, yeah sister sledge yeah. is oh, opening for sister sledge yeah. um 
Enjoy, um, Allison Limerick, oh, wow. Kim Mazel. I'm trying mm -hmm. to throw a shout to yes. everybody, and then Kim Sims, who they came for. Yes, <laughs> um, uh, let's see, and there's tons of DJs in it, yes. so it should be really yeah. fun. And my husband, my husband will be over um, this Thursday, so he'll get a chance to see me perform overseas. Fantastic. So I'm looking forward to oh, that. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And Scott, about yourself, I know Scott is Kim going to be staying with you, Scott, while she's up here. Yeah, she's going to stop for a couple of days. Yes. Um, so we're going to we're going to treat her and look, take her I'm out. Forward and, to yeah, it. You're going to enjoy so, that. I know. She's going to meet the family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a we're going to have a good uh, a good time. I think. Also, we're going to go hit the studio, like we say. So. Yeah, and the major thing about Leeds is. You go around the corner, there's countryside. Mm -hmm. Everywhere is countryside. Yeah. And when you go up north, north, you will see a lot more of the countryside. Yes. Lots of green. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking, looking forward to it. Green. This yeah. is my first time doing the, the local thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you I always be, come in. You'll and, be able to relax this week. Yeah. You know, and then concentrate on your performing yeah. next week. So how would you compare to where you live? Is it Chicago? Well, I'm from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And that's always going to be home. Yes. But I live in Georgia, at, um, Atlanta, like outside it. of Atlanta. It's yes. called Roswell. Mm -hmm. So how do I compare? How do you compare, say, um, Atlanta, Georgia? It's really cool because they're coming to a local town like Leeds this, in, in I mean, the UK. This is charming. Yes. It's charming. You know, um, Atlanta is... Atlanta. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boring. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's lovely too. Uh, you know, it's just a different. It's a different vibe, you know. Um, and I'm in a suburb, so it's more charming. Like this, I would say. Um, not much to do, yes. but um, I, it's cool. Now, if you ask me about Chicago, then it's a whole yes, different, different story. Yeah. I mean, that's just my. It's just home, yes. you know. Yeah. Yeah. No place like home. But Georgia's cool too. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, Kim, can I can I just thank you very much for uh, allowing me to interview you? Oh, yeah. got to. It's been a pleasure. Thank Cheers, Ed. No, no worries. And uh, I hope to see you. I will hear your new track. Yes. You very, very soon. And thank you very, very much. And thanks, Leeds, because you guys have been just awesome. <laughs>